Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 affiliate marketing tips that I have for you in 2019 based on things that are working now, some new things that have changed, and just how to be efficient with it using free strategies. You don't need any kind of paid advertising for this stuff. Um, the first way is to use Pinterest direct affiliate links. So Pinterest did away with affiliate marketing links for a while, then they brought them back because they realized their platform is perfect for it and a lot of people wanted to use it. So what I mean is if you get on Pinterest and you go to your profile, what you can do is you can post like an original image, meaning you uploaded it to Pinterest and then you can actually change that link. So if I were to go to just a random pin right here, you have this website link right here. You can highlight that and change that to your affiliate link. Obviously, you would want to have a picture of the the product or the service that you're an affiliate for, what it does, something like that. But if you want to post images and that being the content and then having a direct affiliate link, you can do that on Pinterest and they do allow it now. They won't flag you for it or anything. So you, all you got to do, go to the pin, make sure it's one that you uploaded and then change the website right here to your affiliate link. Another thing you can do is you can do reviews, comparisons, list posts, and tutorials and then have affiliate links that go to these things that you are showing people how to use, that you're reviewing for people, that you're comparing. And one example of this, you have a site like lifehack.org. They post all kinds of stuff, but they have a lot of lists. So one thing that's kind of popular on this website is a list of books for certain categories. So like 15 best leadership books. So, you know, whether they did this or not, you know, they do have an Amazon link to each one of these eBooks. I don't know that it's actually an affiliate link, but uh, each one of these books, they could have an affiliate link for to Amazon where people could buy it through their link directly and they could get a commission from it. So you could do list posts like these, like top 10 apps for this or top 10 books for this, top 10 hosting companies for websites, whatever. And then you could have something like this where you compare two different services. The best thing about reviews and comparisons the thing about those is you're attracting a certain audience that's at a certain stage of the buying process. So you have different levels of the buying process. If you're trying to look for a product that solves a problem or has some sort of purpose that you need, then usually you might start out with a list. You look at the top 10 of these things, blah, blah, blah. If you are looking at a review, that means you're really thinking about that particular product and maybe buying that product. If you're looking at a comparison, you probably have it narrowed down to two products. So reviews and comparisons attract people that are near the buying process. Therefore, it's good to do those if you're an affiliate marketer because people are more likely to buy through your links and you'll have a better conversion rate from these types of blog posts and videos. So here's an example, like these are two hosting companies for websites, Bluehost versus HostGator, who's better? And then you can include links to affiliate links every time you say Bluehost or every time you say HostGator or something like that. So you notice that they have a Bluehost link multiple times in this article. You know, they'll even have the cost, but they're all to the same link. So they're probably affiliate links. And then they get a commission if you decide to go with Bluehost or if they do it with HostGator, same thing. So those are great ways to actually do that. Again, if you need, if you need a website, you can use the uh, Start a Blog tab on my website, selfmadesuccess.com. And I show you how to, I show you a walkthrough of how to do, uh, you know, a setup for a blog that's pretty easy and pretty cheap. And again, even this as an example, here's a way of using a tutorial. So yes, I do get affiliate uh, links in here. And of course I have my, um, my disclosure at the bottom of the page and everything right here that I do have links probably on this page that I may get an affiliate 
commission from but you know you don't have to use it it's just you know if you want to support that blog you might use their affiliate links if you appreciate what the blog does but tutorials comparisons lists and reviews are really good forms of content for affiliate marketing um, include links in ebooks as well it's another form of content people already bought the ebook or the course if you include links then they're already buyers of something that you sold or maybe you gave away a free ebook as a lead magnet for your marketing in other words they subscribe to your email list and you give them a free ebook you know either way they took some sort of action whether they subscribed or whether they bought that particular product so they're pretty much uh better leads than just a cold prospect that's just browsing the internet and then you can have links now if you do uh, an ebook and you publish it on amazon or some other site you'll probably have to convert it to something like epub format or another type of format that supports links so you can do that at ebook.online-convert.com and just go to you know convert to epub and uh, that should allow you to have clickable links in like a kindle ebook and then of course you can look at an example like if you've ever read the four hour work week you know that there's a lot of links in a book like that so it's just a way for to reference tools that the author uses that being tim ferris in this particular book and you know you could have all kinds of affiliate links in there now you'd probably want to shorten those links or make them easier to remember and one way to do that is to use pretty links so this is the fourth tip and pretty links just makes it much easier for you to promote your affiliate links in blog posts and youtube videos and social media ebooks because all it does is allow you to turn your you know let's say you're doing an affiliate link for hostgator and your affiliate link is hostgator.com slash xyz123 well instead of having that just a bunch of jumbled up letters and numbers you could convert it to you know let's say your website is selfmadesuccess.com what's like if it was my example i would use pretty links to convert that that weird link to selfmadesuccess.com slash hostgator it's much easier for me to remember it looks nicer when people are about to click on it it's just better in general really good if you're uh, having to put it somewhere where it's not clickable like if you uh, mentioned it in an instagram post or something then it wouldn't be clickable so that would make it easier for people to type it in it's just much better so pretty links is just a cheap service that um, you could get a plug-in for your wordpress blog and it makes it to where you can customize your affiliate links instead of just shortening them and then of course another thing you can do is use youtube videos and in some cases it's easier to rank youtube videos than it is blog posts youtube has a ton of competition but still not really as much especially in informative videos not as much competition as regular google search where there's a million plus blogs in every tiny little niche so uh youtube what you can do you can do a tutorial video review comparison list however you want to do it um, and you can uh, have your affiliate link kind of like how Pat Flynn does you've probably heard of him smart passive income um, and he he's mentioned in the past how much he's made from this video um, I don't know specific numbers but he's made quite a bit just from being a Bluehost affiliate he has his link right there it's in the first sentence of the description of the video and then he just shows you how to set it up using a tutorial video right here so you could look that up as an example of how you can use YouTube along with affiliate marketing. And then another thing you can do is email marketing. You can, uh, you can set up your blog to be more efficient as well. You can change your YouTube strategy from one big channel to multiple small niche channels. It just depends on how far you wanna go. But the more targeted your audience is, that's watching or listening to or reading your content then the more likely they are to buy something that's within that same niche so with email marketing have a separate list for 
you know, each category of your content instead of having just one big general list. Um, so get response, of course, is a really good email marketing platform is the one I like to use. Um, there's also other ones out there like Aweber. I've used them before. They're pretty good. Uh, you can use Infusionsoft. I've heard good things about them, but it allows you to uh, make small, you know, groups of email lists that are interested in a very small niche thing, even if your website covers a broader spectrum. So, you know, one way to look at this is you could have a, uh, a list for, let's say, let's say you're looking at like my blog, for example. So I cover how to make money online, basically, and uh, ways to be successful doing that. So instead of having a general list, you could have a list for a, uh, let's say how to do marketing. So you could have a marketing list and then you, ha you have marketing uh, affiliate products. And then you have a, that's supposed to be an arrow. And then you have a, let's say I had a list for, uh, you know, YouTube specific. So let's say certain people just want to know how to build a YouTube channel. So you'd have a list for that. And then you would sell an, a, a YouTube affiliate marketing product to them. So you would just have very specific lists. You could do the same thing with YouTube channels. You may have noticed someone like Evan Carmichael who's broke up his YouTube channel into multiple channels. Um, I may be doing something similar in the future and at least testing it and just things like that. If you have very targeted specific groups of people and you sell a very targeted specific product to that group of people, your conversion rate's gonna be so much better and it's just going to be much easier if you do it that way instead of just having a general audience for everything. Another thing you can do is uh, you can do things like social media posts for specific products. So instead of leading them to a blog post and then trying to convert them to your email list and then converting them into affiliate sales and doing like four different steps, you could just have... Uh, you know, regular social media posts, like people post art, people post, you know, quotes, people post cool products they found or whatever. And then you could have an affiliate link to the ones that have affiliate links. So like Etsy, for instance, if you had a an Instagram account dedicated to art and cool art that you like, you could sign up at etsy.com slash affiliates. You could be an affiliate uh, marketer for that stuff. And then like, I have this board that's called art inspiration so you could post about all kinds of art this is pinterest you could do the same thing on instagram you could do the same thing on facebook pages you can have specific accounts just for this stuff and you could have affiliate links for these different images and yeah use some of the strategies i've gone over using pretty link and those types of things to get direct referrals and commissions and then of course you can shorten these links as well with Bitly and you can track the clicks through that. So that's another thing you can do. Um, again, Bitly you can do for free. Pretty links you have to pay like, I don't, long, I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't very much. It was probably like 50 bucks or less. And then um, it makes it much easier for you to track links, to remember links, to post them everywhere. And then you can just curate art, you can curate tech and have dedicated stuff boards accounts and stuff for that stuff or you can just post it all in one place another thing i recommend is you have a really nice image template if you're going to do affiliate marketing with images i recommend using something like canva so like for instance if i was doing a post on let's just say pinterest i have more experience with pinterest than i do with say instagram right now so i feel like i'm more qualified to talk about that first and then you have, let's say, Pinterest. So you could start a Canva account for free if you want. Then they have other things for that as well. But you can pick all these different types of templates here. And you might do like one that has uh, multiple images involved. So like this one, it has 
it has multiple images. You see it has four different images. You could show a different use of the product in each one of these images and then do like a title or a short description of it right in the middle and then have it posted to Pinterest or Instagram or wherever and have a direct affiliate link to that product. And as you get more traffic, the more conversions you get. So I would recommend something like that. Show how the product works or why it's cool in the image itself and then have a direct link along with building your email list and your channels and stuff like that. Another thing is to show your fans what you actually use yourself. Instead of just promoting stuff, make sure you're showing people what you actually recommend based on your own experience. So two examples of this. One would be like a resources page. So you'll notice that my website, I have a resources tab at the top. It's a resource page of a lot of stuff that I use uh, or have used in the past and recommend. So like for instance, I told you about email marketing. I used GetResponse and I've used Aweber. I like both of those. I could have affiliate links to both of these and I recommend them because I've actually used them. So you have outsourcing services. Obviously these probably won't have affiliate links, but you have courses you've taken that maybe you like, books that I've liked the most and recommend. You could have affiliate links to those. So a resources page is something a lot of blogs have and that's one example. Another thing you can see a lot on like YouTube is uh, people who have a setup video. So they have like their setup or their home office or something like that, or uh, their gaming setup. Like for this one, uh, Tifu, I'm not sure uh, <laughs> how to say his name, but he's a very famous Twitch streamer, plays Fortnite and stuff. But you'll notice that like in this video, obviously this is an ad, but uh, in this video it says my $20,000 Fortnite gaming setup. He has 20 million views, almost 21 million views on this. So if just 1% of those people went and bought uh, you know, a few of these items on Amazon, you'll notice they're all shortened Amazon links. These look like Amazon affiliate links. So it's just another way for him to make money outside of Twitch and YouTube ads and stuff is to have affiliate links to the actual stuff he uses. And as someone who's basically a professional gamer, a lot of people are gonna look up to him and wanna know uh, how they can use the same products as him because they've been proven to work. So my setup on YouTube, resources page on blogs, those are two great ways to also sell affiliate products. Last but not least, you have things that are like affiliate dedicated websites. So you have gift websites, like this is why I'm broke.com. So you can find all kinds of gifts under $20, random gifts, gifts that have to do with, um, you know, funny gifts, like gag gifts. You have gifts that have to do with clean energy. You have survival type gifts. You have gifts that have to do with all kinds of things, um, party games, whatever, all kinds of gift guides, geeky stuff, technology, wearables, food and drink gifts. Anyway, you have all these posts. They make like five or six posts a day on a, on average, and they just do a short description of the product, an image or GIF or video of how it works, and then they have this check it out button that usually goes to an Amazon link. Or maybe it'll even go to like a, uh, like a fundraising link on Indiegogo or some other kind of crowdfunding website. So this one right here is an Amazon product. Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. You have uh, an Indiegogo product there. You have all kinds of just random products. Here's another one, 50 set, 12 ounce uh, coffee cup thing. And then that's on Amazon. So you can have all kinds of affiliate links just posting a few products per day. And that would be like a gift idea website. And literally most of your income would probably come from affiliate links and maybe AdSense ads. And then another thing you could do is like top deals. So if you get good at say uh, coding, you could code like a, using web scraping or something like that with Python coding language. And you could create these small niche websites that, that have like top deals. Like there used to be one, uh, it's not around anymore, but it used to be one available that had to do with top Steam video game deals. And so it would organize them better and make them more sortable and easier to see on this website and it'd help you save money because it had deals on video games. So that's a couple other ideas for you. But other than that, 
you can check out that playlist right there in the top right for more affiliate marketing tips. But those are some of the top ones for 2019. You can do a lot more like image affiliate marketing now. You can do a lot of different types of content that attract the right type of potential buyers and all kinds of stuff like that. So check out that playlist right there for more affiliate marketing tips and I'll see you in the next video.